Hey guys, it's Garage Sailor Vaughn here, and I think I'm going to start with the jeans today. Um, these are just all the finds that I've found throughout the past few weeks. Um, I haven't been able to make videos every single week lately because I've been extremely busy. And so let's get started with the jeans. Um, first pair is a pair of Hudson women's jeans. There is the Hudson logo, and I paid six dollars for these jeans, um, and they are only going to sell for like twenty. Um, it's like five dollars shipping and whatever crazy percentage of eBay and PayPal fees, like fifteen percent. So it's not going to be much profit, but I'm not going to lose money on it. So um, it was worth the risk, but it didn't really pay off. Uh, hopefully, I can even sell for twenty because I've actually had some problem with some Hudson jeans. Some Hudson jeans sell really, really well though. These are men's white Joe's jeans and. Um, they're a pretty uh, hard to find jean, I guess, and new ones with tags on eBay are selling for about $75. Uh, this one's in fantastic condition. It might even be um, never worn. I have to look at it more, but my estimate for this is like $55. That's probably what I'll list it at. Next pair are men's lucky jeans, and I only got them because they're in really good shape, and I paid, I think, $6 for them, and my estimate is thirty dollars just because they're like new. Next is another pair of men's Levi's and these are 511 skinnies. I sell quite a bit of them. Size 32 by 32, pretty common. And I paid uh, six dollars for them and my estimate is like twenty five dollars. Next is a pair of men's Levi's size 38 by 30 and I paid six dollars my estimate is thirty dollars. Uh, next I was able to pick up two pairs of True Religion men's jeans, which are always great. Uh, one is a 28 by 33 and the other is a 30 by 33. And my estimate for each of them is around $65. So, pretty cool for these two. Awesome. Always pick up True Religion jeans when you find them. Lucky Brand men's jeans. Um, this is a very, very popular size, size 38. Um, by popular, I mean it not the most people necessarily, but the most interest in eBay for that size. And this specific pair of jeans, the 221 straight, uh, very popular and doesn't come by often on eBay in um, size 38. So I'm going to list this pair of jeans for $60 and hopefully it sells for something like that. I mean, brand new ones are selling for $75 and this pair looks to be in I mean, fantastic condition, so, I mean, as you can see, there's no leg fraying or anything. And they just look really nice. So I'm sure I will probably be able to get $60 for them. These are men's size 34, 7 for all mankind jeans. And they are relaxed and in great shape, so I'm going to try to get $45 for them. Now, since we're done with jeans, we'll switch over. I got a, I got a couple bathing suits. So here is a Volcom uh, swim trunks, and they are size 30. And I've sold other Volcom swim trunks like this for anywhere from 15 to 20 dollars. Uh, these aren't in brand new shape or anything, not even close. So I will say probably like 15 bucks for these, and I believe I paid four dollars. I might have paid less. I got one more bathing suit and it is a big old men's pair. Um, I'm not sure of the size because the tag was like pulled off. So you can see. Um, yeah, so these are Quicksilver Camo. Um, I'm sure I'll have no problem selling these all for like $20. They're nice, comfortable, and I paid like $4 for these. So the next thing I have is this jersey here. Um, you can kind of see it, and it is made by Puma, it says Italia, and um, I figured I would get it because I figured it was probably worth something, I mean I only paid two dollars for it, so I figured it had to be worth something, it's a size extra large, and I looked it up and they have shirts that are selling for like twenty dollars or so, uh, but this is like a really really nice jersey. So I think I'm going to start off the auction at 35 and see if we have people that want to bid for it. Next up, I'll show you just the shirts real quick. 
Here's a collared Ruka shirt. Uh, it's in really great shape. And I paid two dollars for it. I might have spent like probably like fifteen dollars. Yeah. Shirts are nice because they're really, really easy. You just to ship an envelope, seal it, pay it it's, it's like two fifty to uh ship it. Uh really easy and good pretty good profit if you sell quite a few of them. Two more shirts, I don't want to have to refold them again, but uh here's a Ruka shirt. It'll probably sell for like fifteen bucks. I paid two dollars. And then this is a really nice Obey shirt. And Obey shirts are amazing if you can find them. Definitely you want to get Obey shirts. And um, I paid two dollars for it, and it'll sell for fifteen to twenty-five dollars. Um, I'm not sure. It depends uh, how many people want this design. Here you can kind of see the design here, skeleton and stuff. Oh, and I have one more shirt. This is actually a BDG V-neck, and BDG is the brand that you get at, like Urban Outfitters. And so it's just a really, really popular shirt. I'll have no problem selling this for like 15 bucks. And I paid $2 for it. And I sell quite a few of these because they sell really well. I got a Ralph Lauren Blake um, shirt, uh, short sleeve. Uh, it's in good shape. I paid $4 for it. And my estimate for this shirt is $20 or $25 something like that. Now we're done with clothing so I will show you the shoes. I don't buy too many pairs of shoes because they cost a lot to ship because they're heavy. It's nice when they're able to fit into a priority flat rate envelope for five dollars but if not then it's a pain. But I got these classic Vans because it's like the most popular shoe in the United States and this is a pretty like unique color and they're in pretty good shape. So you can see, they are size 10.5, and I paid $4 for them, and my estimate is that they're going to sell for $30 to $35. Next up, which I thought we're going to do much better, but these are leather dress shoes, and they are Steve Madden. Uh, that is the label in there. Um, they're in pretty good shape, definitely worn. Um, it's the bottoms. Um, my uh, so I paid four dollars for them, and my estimate is that they're gonna sell for like twenty-five to thirty dollars. So definitely not worth getting because they're going to cost a lot to ship, and I paid four dollars, so not a huge amount of profit. Uh, the next ones are these spin shoes or uh, bike shoes. They have clips on the bottom. Um, they're in pretty used condition. They look like they were used outside. Pretty nice. Um, so I paid four dollars for these and my estimate is that they're gonna sell for fifty five dollars. Um, I knew to get these because I do spin at the gym and I'm a mountain biker so I know that these shoes are really expensive. They could be hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Um, and these are really nice. They have like carbon fiber design, and yeah, they're just they're in really good shape too. Um, other than being pretty dirty. So I finished with all the clothing. Here's just one of the really random things I also just got. Um, this was kind of a gamble. I didn't know at all what it was, but I think I paid like four dollars for this. I might have even paid five. Don't know why I would have done that. But um, you can see it says PS up here, quartz, and at the bottom it says West Germany. Uh, this isn't crystal, it's just glass. Um, it doesn't have any other markings anywhere else. Um, it's in really good shape. It's light wear on the plastic thing right here. As you can hear, it's kind of cheap, I guess. Um, so, yeah, I paid like whatever, $5. And on eBay, they're selling for like. 15 to 20 dollars but it's like heavy and it's gonna be a pain to ship and it, if I don't pack it correctly it's gonna be a risk breaking it because it's glass so it's just a pain and I definitely wouldn't have bought it but it's definitely worth taking the risks sometimes because you never know what is going to be worth a lot and you have to learn from your mistakes which I do a lot with this business so yeah um, I'll probably get my money back out of it, but not something I will 
get again. Here's another random thing that I probably shouldn't have got, but it is a pocket knife. It just looked really interesting to me. I was like, how can I not get it? Um, and this was at an estate sale, and they were asking a lot of money for things. So let's see if I can zoom in on the logo and if you can see it or not. Okay, well, I'm not sure if you can see it or not, but it says Winchester, and it's in really, really great shape. So I thought, it's got to be worth something. Um, they wanted $10 for it, and I ended up getting it for 8 I'll show you what it looks like when it's open. So here's that side, and here is that side says Winchester much better now <laughs> and uh, so yeah I paid eight dollars for this knife and it looks like they're selling on eBay for only like fifteen dollars so maybe I'll make a couple dollars I'm probably not gonna keep it even though it is a really good knife and it's really sharp but I have a knife already that I like and I don't really need to collect a bunch of knives it's easy for me to just keep everything that I buy but gotta resell it so, this is something I just had to buy because it was a knife and it excited me, I guess, but not a good score. And here is the last thing that I got. Um, here, I will show you the side so you can get a good idea what it is. And I got this at actually the exact same estate sale that I got the knife. Bought these at the same time. And this um, is a pair of Ray-Ban glasses, just regular glasses. I believe there were regular glasses that someone made, they put in sunglass frames in there, but they're actually prescription, so they are worthless to me, so I'm probably just going to sell them with them in it, I might pop them out and just sell the frames, but Ray-Ban frames sell very, very well on eBay, it's like the most popular glasses frame, so they're like black with like a clear color, and they're in pretty used condition, but they're pretty nice and frames similar to this in this kind of condition are selling for like sixty seventy dollars so I'm gonna list these for sixty dollars and see how they do um, and that's just for the frames so I paid uh, believe I got these for eight dollars as well same as the knife so these were a nice score and definitely something everyone should look for uh, Regular brand name glasses, uh, if, if you're going to buy glasses, make sure that you're getting real ones because there are a lot of fake glasses and sunglasses, but um, yeah, remember to look for Ray-Bans, they're really good. Thank you guys so much for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.